faithful. And oftentimes we tend to take our eyes off of his faithfulness because he's so good at what he does. But if we're going into a new season and we don't want to go into the new season with the old ways. Yes. And we have to totally understand who we are, who we are as men and women of God. You got to truly get this. You got to truly understand this, man, because yes. God has done so much for us, yes. went above and beyond, yes. but at the same time, we don't want to go above and beyond for God, but we want God to continue to go above and beyond. And that's crazy, and that's ludicrous, but that's the way we want to treat our God today. We think that God is obligated to do something for us, but at the end of the day, we're obligated to do something for Him because He's already done enough for us. Yeah. But we, we, but we yeah. sit back and look and look at God as if God owes us something. Yeah. But I'm gonna let you know that God don't owe you anything. Yeah. You owe God. God everything because God if God don't do it he's already done it Amen. he's already done it and I just want to let you know how good God is God woke me up this morning God provided God is still doing some things and I'm expecting God to do more but at the same time you've got to truly understand what he requires of you God says to present your body to God as a living sacrifice so God says I want you what? To do what? I need you to do more than what you're actually doing. Because as a matter of fact, you're not doing enough. As a matter of fact, you're not even coming close to it. And God says, I can't even tap into what I want to tap into with you because you're not willing to give yourself to me. Amen? Amen. We give ourselves to everything else. We want to give ourselves to families, barbecues, bar mitzvahs, all this other stuff. But when it comes to us giving ourselves to God, we got an excuse behind it. I'm tired. My knees hurt. My ankles are bad. You know how I breathe. I got, we got so many excuses when it comes to God. But, 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 and we think that God is supposed to accept that. Well, I'm going to let you know that you can't give any and everything to God. Amen? This may not be an amen message, but, I want, but I'm not trying to get an amen from anybody today. I'm just trying to set some people free because I'm tired of people bound. I'm tired of people faithless. I'm tired of people walking in walking in their non-victorious state because we're supposed to be victorious individuals. Amen? Amen. But, but at the same time, where is the victory? At the same time, where is the fruits going? At the same time, where is the power? Where is the anointing? We're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, but people, so, so, people are so concerned about their presence today. Did I get somebody something? Did I get this girl something? Did I get this girl that? But at the same time, what you get, Jesus? Oh. Hello, somebody. I know y'all ain't going to talk to me, but I ain't worried about you talking to me right now. I'm worried about you speaking to my Lord and Savior on how we treat him on a daily basis. If you didn't come to hear this today, don't go to door because I'm trying to get you saved, healed, and delivered today because we're walking around here with no victory. We're walking around here crying as if God can't do it, and God has already done it. We're talking about strength to keep going. You say, I ain't forgot about the message. I'm going into the message. But you're going to need strength to keep going. Amen. Because there's going to be somebody, when you walk out of that door, that's going to try to drag or drain your strength. Yes. Yes. It, it, yes. The devil's not even going to take on. As soon as you walk out of the door, there's going to be somebody that's going to try to drain your strength with some negativity. Somebody's going to try to drain your strength with some heartache. Somebody's going to try to drain your strength with some ignorance. But you got to understand who you truly are. Who lives on the inside of you? It's Jesus. Amen. When are people going to see Jesus living in you? When are people going to see the light living in you? You, you see, we want to tell people about what we've done. What about his word? What has his word done through you? Oh, my God, I need somebody to get that. What has his word done through you? You're so quick to talk, but are you so quick to let him know about what his word has done? What has his word done through you? Boy, I got some men in here today, and it's okay, because I need to pour into our men to let our men know that we have to be men. Uh, God, yes, 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 yes. We, we, yeah, we, we got to be men of valor. We got to be men of victory. We got to be men who love God. We got to be men who represent God. We got to be men that show people who Christ is. Amen. Strength to keep going. Y'all don't have to say amen. I know it's true. Amen. Because I know what God can and what he has done. You see, you're looking at somebody that 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 should have been thrown away. You, you're looking at somebody who cared only about himself. You're looking at somebody who wanted to do more for himself than, than anybody else. Because, but but I'm, I'm letting you know what Jesus can do. 
I'm letting you know how Jesus can turn your life around. I'm letting you know how Jesus can, can, can perform a 360 in your life. But you got to be willing to give yourself to him. Amen. Oh, my God. you got to be willing to give yourself to him. Come out of yourself and come out of your hangups and come out of your, your situations because we all got issues. We all got dilemmas. We all got things that we're dealing with. We all got family. We all got kids. But at the same time, what do Jesus has? And Jesus has it all. He has it all. He has the strength that you need. He has the wisdom that you need. He has the assurance that you need. But you've got to be willing to give it to Jesus. Say strength. 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 To keep going. I don't know about you, um, but I need some strength. I, I, I don't know about you fellas, but I need some strength. I, I, I don't really know about what you're going through right now, but I need some strength to keep going because I get tired and, and my mind starts to wander and, and there's some things that I can't control, but I need some strength so I can keep going. And, and God is the one that provides the strength, and so God, I need it today. Amen. Yes, Lord. I need it. I need it today. Say strength. Strength. I need some strength to keep going, y'all. And I'm not going to even be before you long. I got a couple of passages of scripture that I want to read to you. And, 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 and I want you to truly understand that it's the word of God that provides the strength. It's the word of God that provides the strength. The strength that we need to get you to the next point where you want to go in your life. To the next place in life, to your next purpose in life. It's the word of God. It's the word of God that provides the strength. Amen. You see, I'm talking about you going into another area in which you've never been before. You see, God has brought you from a mighty long ways, but see, there's another place that he wants to take you to. And it's going to be his word that takes you to this place. It won't be your feelings. It won't be your family. It won't be your cars. It won't be your truck. It's going to be God that takes you to this next place, a place that you've never been before, a place you didn't even think that you can go to before. It's going to be a place. Now, you're not too old. You just look that way. You're not too hard age. You just look that way. It's a place that God wants to take you to. It's a place that he will take you to if you will allow him to. But you got to allow God to perform his strength through you. Say through you. Through you got to allow him to do that. You see, we're trying to work every situation out without his word. And it's his word that provides the strength that we need. And so, therefore, you need to fall on his word just like you fall on everything else. You need to fall on his word just like you call everybody else. You need to fall on his word. When was your last time you fell on his word? When was the last time you fell on his word? When was the last time you opened up his word and said, God, lead me and guide me? When was the last time you said, God, point me to the right place so I can go to the right place? When was the last time you opened up his word and his word revelated to your life? When was the last time? Stop depending on everybody else to open up their word and you open it up for yourself. If you can't read, get you an audio Bible. If you can't understand it, get you a different translation. But it's going to have to be you and his word Amen. to get you to the next place. Amen. You see, you got to come out of your comfort zone, men. We're in our comfort zone. We want to stay right where we are, but we want God to perform a miracle. But the miracle don't happen until you come out of your comfort zone. You're too comfortable with where you are. Even though you've had it good and God has performed some things and God has opened up some doors, but I'm letting you know that little stuff that God has done ain't nothing going to compare to where he want to take you. Amen. Praise. Oh, it's nothing compared to where he want to take you, Turk. There's nothing compared, man. I'm telling you, God wants to take you to a place. You think this was something? You think that was something that he did? You think that was something because he held you that way? You think that was something just because he delivered you from this? Man, just imagine when you get into your word. Just imagine when you are hungry for your word. Just imagine when you have a hunger and desire for his word. Watch where he will take you. He'll take you to places where you didn't think you can be taught or took to. He will, he will allow you to walk into a healing place. What do I mean by that? Because God is wanting you to be a healer to those that's going through. 
I know we don't look at ourselves that way. Why? Because we too, you, we too busy looking at Peter, James, and John, and Bartholomew. We too busy looking at them. But what about you? They died and went on. But what about you? God wants to use you to heal. Hmm, Jesus, God wants to use you to perform a miracle. What about you performing miracles? What about you speaking existence into somebody's life? What about you laying hands on the sick? What about you? What about you having the strength hmm. to keep going? Oh, I got to speak it today because I may not see some of y'all no more. So I may just speak the truth anyway because we have to get it to a place. Because the enemy is after our men. I don't know if y'all understand it or not. I don't know if they get that or not. I don't know if you get it. Why do you think you see so many women in church and less men? Because the enemy is after our men. Because our men possess the seed that performs life. And if he can take away life, ah, God, I know y'all looking at me crazy, but it, it's the real. If he can take away life, then he has the community. If he can take away life, then he has the family. If he can take away life, if he can take away the stronghold, then he has it. Because we got too many women lifting weights that they shouldn't be lifting because men don't want to step into that. Oh, let, me, let me read the scriptures because y'all are looking at me crazy. But it is what it is. Men need to step into places. So women don't have to lift as much as they lift. Thank God for our women. But there are some things that they shouldn't have to live. Ah, my God, help me. I know I'm by myself, God, but it's all right. Uh, we have too many, many, too many, many lifting weights that they shouldn't have to live. Because the men are sitting back with the more control in their hand. Mm, Jesus, help me with this. The men are sitting back on the couch and thinking that they're doing this and that just because they're kicking their feet up. But what about, are you praying over your house? Are you, are you the, the spiritual authority over your house? Mm, my God. Are you the spiritual head over your house? Are you leading out in prayer? Are you expecting your, your wife to do it? Are your girlfriend to do it? Are your boo to do it? What about you being the spiritual head? Hello, somebody in here. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Confidence, strength. Confidence, strength. We're going to deal with two areas today. Confidence, strength, and I love the strength. But watch this, you guys. Proverbs 24 and 10. Check this out. 